Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to a uh, late Monday afternoon, early evening edition of uh, Key Spear Reviews. I'm not outside today, it's been a cold, dreary day. It hasn't got out of the, the lower 20s, I think the high today was like 23. Had a tremendous uh, northwest wind blowing pretty hard all day, so not a good day to be outside. So I'm going to be doing a, doing a beer that I have not had in a long, long time. Uh, never reviewed it. Going to do the Fuller's London Porter. I remember it as being a very good beer. Uh, so, uh, looking forward to trying it again. It's been, like I said, it's been a long time, three or four years anyway. Uh, anyway, from the website, it says Fuller's London Porter is widely regarded as the world's finest porter. Having won awards all over the world, London Porter is regularly voted the number one porter on beer websites such as www.ratebeer.com, a, a tremendous accolade to our brewing team. The origins of Porter date back to London in the early 18th century and the beer has seen fame around the world from Ireland to the USA and Australia. It was a dominant beer style in London for quite some time and takes its name from the street and river porters of the city who carried goods around the streets. Comes in at 5.4% ABV uh, those of you who've been watching my reviews for a while know that I'm a porter and stout fan, and this is the kind of kind of time of the year that you want to start cracking out those, uh, bringing out those uh, porters and stouts. So, I'm not sure if I got a cap like that. So I'm gonna use my trusty BB bar fly here and take it off. And if I don't, I add it to my collection. Oop, got a little nick on there, but. Not that bad. Going to use my generic nonic glass here. So, now that's a nice looking beer. We got a mahogany, dark ruby mahogany beer. You can see just a tiny little bit of light through it, but no detail at all. Got a big couple fingers of a light brown, bubbly head. Um, good, good looking porter. That's what a porter should look like. So, let me get a nose on this. Okay, I'm getting those toasted caramel, getting a little molasses, maybe a little chocolate malt, um, it's dark fruits, maybe like some figs. There's a bit of a smoky overtone to it, not real strong, but. Um, Good, good smelling porter. It smells, it's got all the flavors that, uh, the aromas that, uh, that a porter should have. Like I said, I uh, got some, maybe some plums, um, maybe some raisins, a little, oh, definitely brown sugar in there. Like I said, just, uh, just a hint of some smokiness. I'm not sure what that comes from, so let me give it a taste. Oh yeah, that's nice. Um, got the caramel, your roasted malts. Again, just that light smokiness that's in there. Not a, not a lot. I'm not even sure if it's smokiness, but it's a, it's reminiscent of a smokiness anyway. Um, there's uh, maybe some uh, hints of licorice. I'm get, definitely getting that uh, that Fuller's uh, yeast that they use. Um, a little cocoa. Little nuttiness, um, like roasted nuts. Again, got those uh, dark, dark, dark fruits, the raisins, the plums. Um, got a slightly roasted, uh, bitter finish. I don't think that comes from the hops. I think it just comes from the the roastiness of the of the of the malt. There's not a lot of hoppiness in there. Just a hint of coffee, maybe. Chocolate, figs, rye, rye bread. Just some good, good tasting beer. So it leaves a nice, um, slightly smoky aftertaste too. So that smokiness is definitely in there. And it seems to be medium to a little heavier than medium bodied. Um, got a moderate amount of carbonation. It's really, really smooth and creamy. Um, this has been out of the fridge for about 20 minutes, but 
doesn't seem to have warmed up a ton in the bottle so let me sit um, let's just warm up a bit and I'll come back in a few with the final thoughts and Greg okay I'm back it's been uh, 20 minutes or so but just been sipping on this really enjoying this this is a nice um, really nice um, porter it's a you know it's a traditional porter it's not there's nothing uh, out of the ordinary or wacky or anything like that but um, you know it's just a nice standard uh, traditional porter it'd be a it's a great one I think to you could use to introduce somebody to the style if they if they don't like porters there's no no huge hoppiness like uh, like maybe a Sierra Nevada porter or something like that it's just a traditional good solid traditional English porter um, got all those dark roasty notes the caramel the chocolate the coffee the dark fruits everything is in there um, says on the bottle rich dark and complex well there is a darn good complexity here nothing nothing really strong nothing really overpowering anything else it's nicely blended very nicely blended I mean everything everything is there and hitting just the right notes um, good solid uh, good solid traditional English border um, so I'm gonna have to give this one uh, the Fuller's London Porter I'm gonna give it a good solid 9.5 out of 10 um, uh, I there are other porters I like better but for a good solid like I said good solid traditional English porter you can't do better than this so till next time everybody cheers let's keep drinking good beer